On Whirlpool presents ESPN Trick and 4 T20 timeout powered by Dell. We're looking ahead to the game between the Sunrisers Hyderabad and the Delhi Capitals. Joining me shortly, Ajit Agarkar and Tom Moody. Right, gentlemen, big game this, the uh, Sunrisers Tournament Live, riding on the line. Let's get to our preview statements. Tom, first up, we're saying Prithvi Shaw should come back for Ajinkya Rahane for the Delhi Capitals. Absolutely, he should do. Um, you know, he's a dangerous player. Yes, at times he can frustrate uh, fans and, and followers with regards to his dismissals, the way he's getting out, but he's got a very high strike rate historically uh, gets out of the blocks quickly, and I think that uh, that is very much needed for Delhi Capitals. Did it surprise you as well, Ajit, when they decided to drop Shaw and play Rahane? Yeah, I mean, massive surprise. Look, I, you've got to feel for Rahane a little bit. Uh, change the team, does, hasn't really had a go, doesn't really fit in that 11, unfortunately, with the kind of game that he has, and then gets a good good nut first up from uh, Pat Cummins, really. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's probably not enough opportunities for Rahane, but Clearly, between the two at, at that position and with the way Shikhar Dhawan is going, Prithvi has got to come back. All right, let's go to our next statement. Tom, it seems like we can't get over this one. Mohamed Nabi, we're saying, should replace Jason Holder. Yeah, look, it's a tricky one. Jason Holder came in and he's done pretty well. He's taken five wickets in the two games that he's played. I think this decision should be purely based against the opposition and the surface they're playing on. I think they may even lean towards Mohamed Nabi playing because... Uh, Shikha Darwin has had his troubles against off-spin and Nabi, Nabi, as we know, is a very, very crafty off-spinner. Yeah, plenty of left-handers along with Dhawan Ajit in that Delhi lineup, but it's also the case of whether Nabi, the middle-order T20 batsman, can come in handy given what happened last game. Yeah, true. But the game before that, Pandey and uh, Shankar had a couple of good innings. So that might give them a little bit of confidence. I think it'll be condition-specific. If they see the pitches again going to uh, start slowing down, uh, plus the left-handers, then they might uh, might go towards Nabi. It's not a bad replacement if they do make that call because there are plenty of left-handers that he'll get to bowl at. It's a tough one for uh, tough one for Sunrisers, uh, but I think for, it'll be condition-specific. Speaking of this theme of bowling to a certain type of batsman, depending on whether an off-spinner or a left-arm spinner, Ajit, we're saying that the Delhi Capitals uh, should trust Akshar Patel against left-handers too. He bowled just the one over last game against KKR. It was bizarre. Really bizarre. I mean, when, when the team is getting carted all over the park for 190 plus and you're one of your main bowlers this season, I think after Rabada and Nokia, uh, the third best bowler that's in that team is uh, Akshar Patel. Just quietly under the radar. May not have got heaps of wickets, but bowled economically throughout. If you're a good bowler, you're a good bowler. By that logic, then off spinners shouldn't ever bowl to right-handers, which, which never happens. So, when you're getting carted all over, not to bowl one of your better bowlers uh, was a pretty strange decision. Was that a case, Tom, of overthinking or overdoing this no left-arm spinner to the left-hand batsman theory? Yeah, I think possibly. And I think that it can get into the bowler's head too if there's no vote of confidence uh, for him to be bowling in certain situations. I think you need to throw them the challenge uh, at times where you want them to be bowling against both left and right-handers regardless of the, of the, of the game situation because you never know what, you know what that bowler has in his at his disposal and what he's made of until he's challenged that way. So, look, there are certain times that you need to protect uh, certain bowlers because of certain conditions, certain players, and also, you know, boundary sizes. But uh, I, I don't think there should be a hard and fast rule. All right. Next up, sticking with the Delhi Capitals, another one of their key players, Ajit. We're saying Rishabh Pant needs to step up. Yeah, he's one of the players that needs to step up. For some reason, the middle order, which seemed to be going quite well earlier on in the tournament uh, is perhaps not performing to the level that they they want. And a bit different with uh, Rishabh Pan that we've seen this season. Almost has decided that he's not going to do anything for the first 10 or 15 balls. Uh, even if there's a ball to be hit, sometimes he, he's just uh, decided that he's going to spend time, which is which is fine if that's your approach. But then then you've got to cash in a little later. And then the short selection hasn't been, hasn't been that good after being in for a while. So, you know, him along with Shreyas and Stoinis, if they don't play well, it, it is going to be a difficult uh, finish for the season. Or, you know, there's just so much pressure then on Shikhar Dhawan. And we saw that what happened in the previous game when he got out. Yeah, it seems to be a different Rishabh Pan this season, Tom. What's holding him back? Yeah, look, it's an interesting one. Without sort of being in the inner 
sanctum of, of the Delhi Capitals, you just wonder what the instruction he's been given uh, and whether it be Ricky Ponting or whoever it may be within that setup has talked to him about just being more consistent and giving yourself a chance. I, I think, you know, Punt to me is an instinctive player and he needs to be given that freedom to express himself. And to me, he's a player that has the ability to hit the first ball uh, for six as easy as he could hit the last ball for six. Um, so, you know, I, I think he needs to, you know, definitely let the sh- shackles go and, and, and just play, you know, his instinctive style. Um, and you'll see a strike rate, which at the moment is incredibly modest at around about that 117, 118 mark, race up to 140, 150, which it normally uh, sits at. And finally, we're saying, Ajit, that uh, even at this late stage of the tournament, Delhi are yet to identify their first choice Indian pacer, Tushar Desh Pandey, going wicketless in his last two games in over 10 and over. Thoughts? It's probably true. I, I, I don't... But again, you, you've got Tushar Desh Pandey quite inexperienced. Mohit Sharma, he played just at, at the start and then they got Ishan Sharma in, perhaps, uh, you know, condition-specific again. And then they went to Harshal Patel when the wickets were a little bit slow uh, to use uh, his variations. So they don't quite know. And Tushar's shown enough promise. Uh, I was a little bit surprised that he's opened the bowling to what the options they have at this point. I still feel he's, he's their best option going forward. But uh, it's probably true that they're not quite sure who their third seamer is at this point. They're looking to avoid a third defeat in a row for a team that otherwise looks so good. Tom, would you make a change there? Yeah, look, it has been a surprise, hasn't it? Because they jumped out of the blocks and looked like nothing was going to stop them. Uh, you know, they've got obviously a number of areas of their team sorted out. But, you know, I'd, I'd be, particularly the way that the surfaces are playing, I'd be backing Patel in. I just think that he's got the, he's got the variations he, um, and he's got the experience to, to be able to carry um, the responsibility of, of, of bowling tough overs. And I think as we'll, we'll see over the next couple of weeks, it's going to get harder and harder for, for batsmen to get set against uh, bowlers that are quite clever with changes of pace. So I th- I'd be keen to add that to the, the balance of the attack. All right. That wraps it up. Thank you very much to Tom Moody and Ajit Agarkar for looking ahead to this game between Delhi and Hyderabad on Whirlpool Presents ESPN Cricket for T20 Time Out, powered by Delhi.